So, um, uh, the, this was the basic idea for the game. That you, you, uh, we use this and that we take the character to um, go through the woods, hunt down the prey, and mercilessly slaughter them all. That's, that was the idea. The problem was, that wasn't enough. We needed something else, something for you to go after. It seems a very simple decision, but we introduced um, your uh, deceased former friends uh, later, after we found out that the film was going to be. So you found his body. You thought you found him. Actually, he's gone. But his spirit is still hanging around. So uh, these are all characters from the film, and they all uh, give you stuff. Um, fortunately, this guy gives you a sword. Um, that is something that we do not, uh, that the Native Americans didn't really have a lot of. Um, uh, they were mostly working with spears and stuff like that. Uh, pretty good at archery, though. And we do find a, a bow and arrow later. Ah, uh, see, now this is the kind of problem we do not want to have. Um, uh, just give me one second to, okay, see, now he's lost me. Oh, he found me again. Uh, this is an example of the AI that we were working with. If I try and slow down and sneak through the, the shrubs, you'll see he'll, he'll lose me again. Right now, I believe he's probably following my footprints. Here he comes. Um, I'm going to let him do that for a while. Oh. <laughs> The problem is, is when he, when I run into some of his friends, that's when it gets sticky. So as I said, this game is really hard, and I'm probably going to die. Um, okay. Now the trick is, if you can stay hid, uh, they cruise past you, uh, no problem. And then, if you want to hit them from behind. I know it's not very sportsmanlike, but maybe I can. Oh, ow, oh, see, he was ready. Um, here's a, the, the in-game melee combat that we, I'm going to just try and sort of stay back a bit. Um, the melee combat, we didn't want it to be dice rolls, even though visually uh, our style was take that, take that, take that. Uh, our style was, you know what? Uh, it's kind of tense when you when you get a, a, a couple of those guys on you. It's, uh, it's a little rough. We wanted to um, obviously the look and feel of it, um, it. It owes a lot to Diablo and games like that. But we didn't want it to be dice rolls. We wanted to have it be um, uh, sort of a physical um, experience for the player. We wanted, you, we wanted it to be arcade-like in the combat. We can introduce dice rolls to it the way Diablo works, the way Warcraft works. You know, do I hit, do I not, just by clicking on someone. But this really requires your ability to uh, time your blocking, your strokes, and also if the longer you hold down the button, the more damage you do. So it, there's a lot of strategy involved. The other thing we wanted to do was um, make it a little bit more realistic than the sort of more cartoony Blizzard type games in that more than two guys uh, is going to be a problem. I, I don't know about you guys, but I probably couldn't take out more than two of you. I mean, if you were really ganging up on me or something. So, so we try to make it a situation where running away is probably something you spend a lot of time doing. Um, if you uh, happen to attract some of these guys after you, so more than one. So I'm going to try and deal with it. You don't have like a magic kill this guy. No, you didn't. You know what, you, you, have, the, you have the release build, which has all the cheats. Yeah, you, oh, I, I, I asked you to do that, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> all right, well, I'll just have to kill him. Um, I'll try and talk and fight a giant Viking at the same time. Um, if I can do it, then, uh, you know, and, uh, maybe I'll just run away. I'll try running away. Uh, you run faster if you put your weapons away. Eventually, he'll lose me. Later on in the game, you run into more trouble. There's archers. Um, 
that go after you and uh, look, flowers. Okay. <laughs> um, that was a bad noise. <laughs> well, another thing that we did, um, we had an idea, uh, there's a lot of role playing games that we were emulating where the AI is not so bright, and we wanted um, to recreate a situation which some players of your Neverwinters and your Warcrafts and your whatever uh, sneak up to a bunch of monsters and slowly pull them away from the crowd one by one as they enter the alert radius of the enemy. We wanted to create that effect so you could sort of stick your head out the woods and wave at them. And then for some reason we didn't. We, we came up with another clever idea that kind of canceled that whole strategy out. Still do it. Yeah, but, well, he has a horn. And the horn that he blew actually attracts all the other Vikings from within a large radius. And so, right now, I'm about to get ganglanded by like four or five <laughs> Vikings that are coming from all over the countryside. So, well, the problem is that you you attracted the commander. I, well, right. Commander, uh, he's got a horn. The radius on the horn is much bigger than the Viking yell, which, as we all know, is only three or four screens.